that's a really good finish. And I'll tell you why. OK, we're going to explain to you about the unique cutter block in this machine. So first, I just need to open the machine up. So we'll just slide the guard out the way. And I'll take the fence off which is quite a substantial and weighty piece, but it has its own storage brackets on the back of the machine. So you just plop them on there, and it's hinged out of the way. OK, slide that one back over. So we then just undo the Raptor clips and lift that table up. They will stay up because they have their own little stops. Same on this side, and up we go. So, looking carefully here, you can see we have a spiral type cutter block. And this is the first time we've ever offered this on a machine meant for the trade environment. We've done them in the past with um, the, the more industrial sized machines, but this is the first time for a, an ordinary trade size workshop. Now, it's not just an ordinary spiral block that you can find on other brands. This one has a unique type of cutter. Now the, the cutters themselves are made of solid tungsten carbide. They have four edges, and each edge will have the life of roughly 20 high-speed steel knives, either sharpenings or fresh knives. But if you nick one of these little blades, or you find they're all getting rather blunt after a long period of use, they have four edges, so you can just undo the central Torx head screw and then you'll see there's a little marker, so you can just revolve each cutter to a fresh place. So you have four edges. So in total, you could say this whole set of knives is equivalent to about 80 sets of high-speed steel knives. So you've got a lot of economy there. Plus, you aren't spending any time setting up the knives because they don't require any setting. They're just bolted to this block and you leave them exactly where they are. Now the main purpose for this type of block is to give a continuous even finish over a large amount of timber. So for example if you were preparing a set of floorboards for a large village hall for example or a big dance floor or for a large run of furniture, windows, doors, you will know that the finish will be as good at the end as it is in the beginning. So you're not stopping every two or three hours changing a set of knives or resharpening, rehoning, you just keep going on and on and on. Okay, you do get a set of five spare cutter knives with the machine in case you have an accident and a screwdriver to change them with. So each of these cutters is a unique little cutter. They're very similar in style to a lot of the uh, tooling cutters that you find with spindle molder uh, tooling. But instead of being a, just a square 14 millimeter cutter, these have a little radius edge on each side. It's a 102 millimeter radius, so it's a very, very small radius edge. And the idea of that is that as the cutter block comes around, the front corner is the first contact with the timber. And it's, as it makes the cut, it slides across. So you get a shear type action, rather like you get with um, some styles of hand planes. So it gives a very much kinder action to the uh, cut itself. And no other manufacturer, as far as we know, uses that kind of feature. Because you've got so many knives, it's almost impossible to detect any kind of rippling effect on the timber. And you know the, the, the lifespan and time saved more than in the lifespan of the machine more than makes up for the cost of of the knives. You can even do rippled woods, spalted beech, walnuts, oak, all those kinds of woods which would normally get damaged by the impact of a high-speed steel knife. It doesn't leave a mark on these, it doesn't tear, it doesn't split, and this is just a piece left lying around in our skill centre, so it's a, an extreme piece. There's four main advantages of this style of cutter block compared with a normal high-speed steel cutter block. The first is the quality of the cut. Secondly, because of the kind nature of the cut, the machine uses a lot less energy. So there's a lot less stress on the whole machine, the motor, the drive gear, etc. And thirdly, there's a lot less noise. And that's really important when you're working with other people in a busy workshop. The noise level can be as much as 50% less than normal. 
And then the last thing is, and there's some nice shavings just here, the shavings are a much more even consistency. They're more like the size of your little fingernail, and so you get about 50% more waste in the same size waste sack that you would normally get. So no more endless emptying of your waste bag on your dust extractor. A win-win all round.